Hi everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Cleo here for another toy of the day here on our live YouTube channel. Thank you guys for joining us. We're continuing our beginning series here with what might be one of the most influential toy lines in my history. Um, it definitely had an impact on what I consider like definitive lines um, within comic book history um, and toy history. And <clears throat> it had one of the most unique rosters um, to come out of the 80s uh, that still has an impact on, on today. And it's, it's the look and the feel of Jack Kirby and Perez and um, just the whole, like, this little logo has such an impact um, on, on kids from the 80s. It is, like, the line um, for us growing up. And, you know, it had, how many figures? 33 figures. Um, and I have all 33 in some way, shape or form, um, even had some card backs, um, from, from them. Um, this one was actually purchased, um, at a good deal. And in the parking lot, as the person who sold it to me left, I cut the bubble off <laughs> and opened it up because I opened all my toys. Um, but I kept the card back because it, it had every figure on the back of it, including the unproduced uh, Dark Side's um, Tower of Darkness, uh, the one place that they got away. And with 3D printing nowadays, somebody's got to be working on one, right? Um, but the Superpowers line was one of those lines where um, I can, like, so when I saw He Man, I saw the toy in the store and I wanted it. Um, with GoBots and things like that, I saw the cartoons and I wanted it. There wasn't a superpowers, quote unquote, superpowers cartoon. I mean, there was uh, DC superheroes, there was Justice League, there were um, Galactic Adventures. There were all different versions of DC heroes, uh, DC Comics heroes on TV. But there wasn't a superpowers cartoon the way we think of it. Like, there wasn't like a He-Man and Masters Universe, Thundercats. Um, there were superhero cartoons... Um, some of them might have been, you know, around that idea, but it wasn't like strictly they see it on the screen, they make a toy of it um, until you got to the Galactic Heroes line or, or cartoon. But Superpower was already going along for that. Um, and so growing up, um, my mom liked to buy me toys, Tita liked to buy me toys, and dad didn't always like hearing that I got a lot of toys. He was always telling me, we'll get it cheaper somewhere else. We'll find it somewhere else. We'll get you a better one. They were always knockoffs. They were never better. Um, and I was always disappointed for the most part. And that's a, that's a video down the line. Um, but uh, I remember waking up. And I think I've told this on a podcast before. I didn't know how toys worked. And wave three. So let's see if there's a date on here. Uh, blah, 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 1985. So probably around 1984, <coughs> 1983, 84, when the line first started, um, you know, I woke up on Saturday mornings and wanted to watch my cartoons. And not knowing, A, how time works, and B, how TV works, I woke up one morning at 7.59 on a Saturday and saw my first Superpowers commercial. And in that commercial... Um, I did not unwrap him. Um, in that commercial, I saw this figure swimming. And I saw this figure raise his lantern hand. And yes, I am using the action features, guys, because that's what they're made for. I saw this on TV, and I lost my mind. Um, there was no TiVo. We didn't have a VHS player back then. We, we couldn't record TV. Um, and I sat there the entire morning waiting for it to happen again. And it never happened that morning. Um, I switched channels. I tried different things. It didn't work. But I had a plan. I was going to wake up and wake my mom up. Because I wasn't allowed to wake her up that early. 
but I told her the night before, I said, listen, um, I want you to see a commercial. It was on this channel at 7.59 last Saturday to see Aquaman swim. And she didn't believe me. She really didn't. Um, so we sat there in the living room, glued to the, like, face to face with the TV, um, just dying to see if I could see Aquaman swim again and hoping to see the toys in the stores. And we didn't see them that week. And uh, the commercial didn't happen because they don't run the same commercials at the same time every every day. <laughs> so didn't happen. But, but um, eventually, over the next couple of weeks, she did see the commercial. And, um, but we found them in stores first. And when we found them in stores, um, we found the two best figures in the line, or two of the best figures, which is Batman and Karate Chopping Robin. This is what, like, started me off. I've got a statue of him in the back. This Robin was, like, my toy growing up. This Batman and Robin. And then um, we weren't allowed to show dad that we bought toys because we bought Batman, we bought Robin, we bought Superman, we bought the Flash, um, we bought, you know, Aquaman, but we couldn't bring all the toys in. So we only brought in Batman and Robin um, and the Joker, um, who is tucked away in there. And slowly we played with him in the backyard and then we took him to grandma's house so we can open them all and then slowly brought them in the house so he wouldn't notice. Um, and then I was off to the races because then for Easter, I got the Batmobile and the Batcopter. I got the Hall of Justice eventually. Um, and Wonder Woman was one of the last figures I got um, after Christmas one year. Um, Tita took me to Toys R Us and there she was on the pegs after getting almost everybody else. Um, Wave 3 was iffy. I had Tear growing up as a kid. I had Mr. Miracle. I had Tear. I had, uh, let's see. I had Cyclotron. Um, I had Mr. Miracle, maybe. I definitely had Cyclotron. And I definitely had Tear. But the rest of them from Wave 3, I didn't have. I didn't get them. Um, that, that bottom row there. I didn't have them. Um, they were hard to get. I always wanted Cyborg. And so... Um, Almost 15 years ago, I was selling off my DC Universe uh, DC Direct figures, and somebody wanted them and had doubles and triples of all the superpower characters. Um, so I was able to pick up characters like this um, and everything else, or a lot of them, um, including Green Arrow's Arrow and uh, two bows, one without a string, one with a string. Um, and I was able to pick up a lot of these figures, um, going to shows, trading off to other people for other toys, um, getting, you know, getting characters that I never saw as a kid, um, which was just, you know, amazing to, you know, get these kind of figures that I just never had as a kid, um, in really good shape. And the thing is, even after getting all of those and then picking up a lot of the vehicles, which will be another video along with the Superpower uh, Secret Wars figures, um, they came with file cards, um, they came with comic books, and I've been collecting the comic books. I'm a few set of a, sh a few short of a set. Um, picking up characters like Shazam here, um, that's like minty mint, um, in really good shape and really good paint. Um, even getting like the mail away figures like Clark Kent here um, and trading them off, you know, to get them. One figure I never got, never had as a kid and never really got as an adult is in this box here. So if you were to ever ask me what my holy grail of toys are um, that I both never owned and um, never got as an adult, um, so never really owned period, not as a kid, like Bionic six that we'll talk about in a couple days. Um, I had everything as a kid and I've been rebuying them since then. But if you're talking about figures, I never owned as a kid and, and still want them to this day. Um, 
this gentleman here is is that case um, we never found cyborg in the store never never saw most of wave three I got some of them I got tier I got cyclotron I got mr. miracle but um, it wasn't until I was an adult that I got plastic man um, forget how he works I don't want to break him he's one that I don't think work there he goes just gotta loosen things up a little bit there we go um, but I never got cyborg but I do have a very broken cyborg um, that there is not much left of him uh, the action feature does not work um, the paint is completely stripped off of most of him and so um, I've tried to put him together a few times I've tried to repaint him um, but uh, he is my holy grail like I, I would like a complete cyborg with all of his attachments I don't really want a repainted one even though I could repaint this um, Bill has offered to do it before I don't have steady enough hands to do all the detail work on it um, toy otter um, with uh, and I might have just broken a peg no that was already broken um, geez that scared the hell out of me um, yeah no um, no I might have snapped that okay um, so I broke him even more uh, but he, you know that's one of the cases where someday I'd like to get it the problem is that like I can get a dr. fate for you know under a hundred bucks to get a cyborg that is in one piece in good shape that isn't broken missing parts and missing paint um, it's gonna run me almost twelve hundred dollars and twelve to sixteen hundred dollars for you know <clears throat> for him and it's it's really hard like it's easy to rationalize the price when you're buying something new um, like the thunder tank I bought two thunder tanks it was a thousand dollars but I feel like that's an investment um, and something I'm really gonna enjoy it's like a display piece um, but cyborg just seems so it does it feels very selfish it feels very selfish and it's very hard to kind of rationalize buying that for myself I found one that was almost complete but loose about nine years ago at New York Comic Con um, for a few hundred dollars and for whatever reason which I can't even fathom why I did that um, I passed um, I don't think he had the arm attachments and <clears throat> It kills me because I'm still actively like participating in getting new things. Like, um, I want to give a good shout out to him. Um, I had a Batgirl commissioned. Um, I want to make sure I give him uh, um, multi the multiversity. Um, the M U L T I V E R S I T Y on Instagram um, did an amazing custom casted Batgirl um, with limited articulation with magnets um, so she can pose and I think she looks great with Batman and Robin um, she's is, is in a good scale um, she's not bigger than Batman um, she's a little bit smaller so and she matches kind of like the Wonder Woman look um, to her so she matches the line so I'm still like actively participating in getting new things for superpowers um, I have a lot of the vehicles. There's still a couple I don't have. Um, I got the Hall of Justice up there. I got the Batmobile. I got a bunch of stuff that we'll talk about later. Um, but these things really just captured my my imagination, and really to me is what is the best example of what a definitive line is, um, because I think by far with the roster characters. The play sets, the action figures, the comics, everything top to bottom. This might be one of the most definitive action figure lines um, in history. And there might not be a lot of drama about it. It might not continue. Um, but DC Universe Classics is based on this, um, which is why I like that line so much. And, you know, there's no doubt that, like, these kind of things really capture our imagination and really feel like definitive versions of the characters 
Um, so I am so proud to own them. Um, so proud to have them in my collection and been able to share this with you tonight. Um, so, so there you go. There's superpowers in a nutshell for me. Um, I, I had so much fun collecting them as a kid. Um, I still enjoy just taking them out and looking at them now as I drop them on the floor um, before I put them back in their, in their cases. Um, and I have really good memories of playing, setting up, and the people I was with when I got them. So all of it's a really nice little package of childhood memories. Um, and the iconic looks for the characters that are cemented in my mind. When I think of Batman, that's what he looks like. When I think of Robin, that's what it looks like. Um, Flash, Green Lantern, Dr. Fate, um, Samurai to Cyborg. Like that's what I pick, Lex Luthor. That's what I picture when I picture, when I picture Lex Luthor, this is what I picture. The power suit Lex Luthor. Um, this is what he looks like. And I remember, <laughs> Before Christmas, I wasn't allowed to buy toys. They're starting to get a little gummy. Um, I wasn't allowed to buy toys. And uh, I found him at the Doc Bradley's in Stratford at the dock. And Tita told me not to go into the toy department because I couldn't buy anything. And I found him and I begged and I cried. Um, and I couldn't get him. But Santa got him for me for Christmas. So... Um, so a happy ending for that. I think his, uh, I'm not pulling his vest off. There's no point to that. Um, but this is what I think of. These are the definitive looks for the DC heroes for me. Um, anything else is not definitive for me. So thank you guys for watching. We're going to continue our look at our memories here on our Caster's Corner Toy of the Day beginnings. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope that you share who is your um, holy grail for this line or any other line. Um, we've got plenty of stuff from Bionic 6 to Silverhawks to Thundercats, everything under the sun um, this week um, on beginning. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Go to casterscorner.com for a gallery, small gallery of these guys um, uh, and some pictures, as well as uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. We're at Casters Corner and check out the Cornercast podcast on Apple Podcasts. Um, sorry, this was a long one. It's one of the seminal lines for me, this in Bionic 6. Um, I was happy to be able to share it with you. And uh, hit the subscribe button down below. The more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do. Like make shirts like this. And uh, we get to share them with you. And really, that's the best part of this. So thanks for sticking with me on this little bit of a longer one. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and looking at some of these toys. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another toy of the day here on castorscorner.com. <laughs>